morning everybody welcome to my channel my name is sandra if you have not been here before and today we are going to plan in my golden aspen franklin cutty binder this is the classic size and the week that we're planning for is already september 4th to the 10th i cannot believe that it's gonna be like almost the first second week of september I am like aghast at how fast the last few months flew by. Like I, I'm, I'm terrified. I'm terrified that time's flying by so fast. Okay, so here's my binder, still looking as sunflowery as ever. Um, if you guys haven't seen the monthly video, I will link it in this one so you guys can check that out. I stuck with my gold pen and I still stuck with my silver rings. Didn't take them out because honestly, I just haven't had the time. But what's this? What's this in here? Where are my cards in there? Oh, they're all bent. I must have forgot. Or maybe they came out. Maybe. Anyway, I have to pull these out anyway, so I'm just gonna take them. Okay. Um now, so I don't have my business section in here anymore. So you guys might be elated to know, or you might be sad to know that I won't be doing the business section. Um, it has been an interesting adaptation for me <laughs> to plan in a separate planner, but I have been loving this planner. You guys, like, I'm obsessed. I, yeah, I, I do miss it in here, but at the same time, I don't miss the stress it put on my rings because it would just be like really full right now. I wouldn't be able to close the binder if I had it in there. And then I was able to add other stuff as well. So I just feel so good about this. Like I put it on expander discs, right? Like, like two inch ones and everything fits on there. Like I have my side tabs from Jane's Agenda and I have top tabs I'm using from um, Happy Planner. And it's just, it's working for me. I never thought I'd go back to like a disc planner, but when I saw Jean using like the junior disc bound, I fell in love because it's still the same size as what I'm using. So I just, I like the, the, the heft of it, I right? like the feel of it. Um, and I don't really need to carry around my work binder. Although <laughs> there was one day I took my, my planner with me to to karaoke because it was so slow like there was nobody there except for me and like another two people and so anyway I was doing some planning at the bar <laughs> yep that's me um I'm the girl with a planner at the bar and um I was trying to make my list for the next day and I was like oh no I don't have my work plans with me I can't remember what I have to do so it was like the only instance but like how often do I plan outside the house if I was going on a trip I'd probably take both planners so it's not like yeah I, I don't know that's just that's just me okay let's get planning so I'm gonna go into my monthly where I have my task cards in this little pocket take out the week I love this. It's so cute. The pocket fits just right. This is a pocket from Cloth and Paper, by the way. Okay, so I'm going to have to change this again because I no longer have my work stuff on here, but I do have task cards in my work planner now as well. Review previous week. Apparently I can't talk. So I'm going to go to the dailies. And now I think I took out... Oh, I have to Thursday. Okay, perfect. So... Here I had, oh, that was like from the Wednesday before. So I was still using my fountain pen so you can see it was bleeding through. So, um, oh yeah, today's the 31st, by the way. I'm so excited to use my new inserts, but I'll show you that when we get there. Um, I had written this work paper thing down because I was going to print all of my inserts that I had on my, like uploaded onto my computer um, from Etsy and stuff. I was going to print all of that for 2024 just so I was like ahead of the game and I already had it printed um because printing stuff is sometimes a pain in the butt to try to size it properly and to try to um get it looking like just perfect so anyway I I need to like make a copy of this before I take my blooms inserts out I'll be taking the blooms out tomorrow so um I should make a copy of August 23rd I'll do that
and I should by rights put that into my work planner. Okay, so starting as of the Wednesday, I had a song here by Sarah McLaughlin that I was planning on potentially singing. Um, I did a whole bunch of work on that Thursday. Thursday is filming my weekly plan with me, so I did that. Um, I didn't edit the video though, I think. And I actually filmed a reel and a short that I'm going to be posting sometime today because it's the 31st. That was my planner flip through for my previous binder, my beautiful life binder. So I had all of that stuff done. Um, but yeah, I did a, a lot of stuff that day, but I mean, I still, there are the six arrows here. So I'm always, you know, scheduling stuff ahead that I didn't get done. Okay. So for Friday, I filmed my September compact, right? Because this was like the really big week, right? Like the big filming week. So Thursday I did the September setup and then I also did the weekly setup. And then Friday I did my compact setup. Um, I was able to edit my classic and I edited the weekly. And I went out Friday night to karaoke. That's what I did. I just didn't mark it here. Um, I redid my song list, which was one of my things. Like I redid it really, really small so it fits on like fewer cards. I use index cards. Um, Saturday, I called it a work week because Chad was working all week. He did come home early Sunday though. And yeah, I, I, you know what? I did so well. Like I did a lot of work. I worked a lot. Like look how many things I did. I brought my list over to my notes page. That's how big my list was, but I did good. I mean, I've only got three arrows moving stuff forward. It's amazing. Um, and then Sunday I did quite a bit of work, but I think I relaxed a little bit too because I did go out Saturday night again. So at that point I think I was getting tired, but yeah, I did lots of work. Put my baby is up. Okay. Monday I didn't, none of this stuff got done, but I didn't cross it. Like I didn't push it forward. Um, but Monday I did all of my journaling stuff that I normally do. Okay, Tuesday I did really well as well. The only thing I didn't do, I did everything but write my blog, which is what I want to do on Tuesday. But you know what? It's okay because I actually had huge website updates. If you guys want to check it out, I worked on my website so it's like made the way I want it to look. And I changed it and I love it. I filmed my spiritual notebook planner thing and I did my last art video. I only have three. I finished so that's good. That video is posting today when I film this. Um, I did a whole bunch of die cut stuff. Yeah, I did a whole bunch of work on stickers. I did a whole bunch of work on my website. Maybe that was mostly Wednesday. Um, so this would have been yesterday. I was supposed to work on stickers, but I did my blog. Oh yeah. Okay, you guys. Oh, yeah. When we get to the inbox, when we get to the weekly list, you'll see how much stuff I cross off. I did so much work yesterday. Like so much work. Well, I'm not going to talk about it right now because actually a lot of the stuff I didn't even add on here but I did so much I should write that down so productive did so much work there um yeah unbelievable it was the last hot day today is still gonna be warm but there's gonna be a lot of smoke in the air so it's gonna be interesting day today Okay, here's today's list, still really big. Um, my list all week has been big and it's me putting a lot of pressure on myself. And this is what I was telling my husband last night. It's like, if I get, like, I wish, like if I had seven things, say I had a whole week ahead of me and I had seven things to do, I can't balance things. Like I can't take one of those things and do it one on each day. That's ideally how I want it to go, but I don't do that. I do one and then I'm like, okay, what can I do to rearrange my day to do the other thing? And then I keep going down the list until they're all done in one day. And then the next couple of days, I'm so tired from doing everything in one day that I need like three or four days to relax and recoup, you know? And then if I need those many days to relax and recoup, I feel like I'm lazy and like I'm unmotivated and I haven't done anything, even though I got everything on my list done. Does that make sense? Like, <laughs> yeah, I... I want to have that balance, which I'm finding it very difficult to, to balance stuff like that. Um, I never did anything with the basement, but I'll show you guys what I did do um, when we get to, like when I said, like I said, when we get there. 
Um, I'm going to review goals right now because my older son is watching my baby. So um, review goals quickly. I don't know why I put my pen away. <laughs> um, let's see if I can just, you know, use my tabs. Okay, so for September. Um, see, Tressa, that's going to be on the 5th. First day of school, 5th, all of those days. Okay, bedroom floor. All of this stuff will be on August or September 1st, sorry. Um, cleaning, wow, I haven't done anything. <laughs> haven't done anything on my goals list. Nope. Not a single thing. And this is what I mean. I feel so accomplished. I did so much work, but yet none of that work was on this list. Okay, so um, next I need to review the monthly goals. We'll do that. Um, bedroom floor, nope. Basement, nope. Analytics, nope. Probably all of the same stuff is going to be on, like, you know, like the same. I would have to pretty much review, like, the ones from October, which I've already technically done. Or October, August. Wow, why am I jumping a month ahead? Um, and I still didn't do anything. I did get, I didn't even get to read in the sun. Wow. Okay. I'm moving. I did planner setups. I did school prep. So anyway, okay, let's move on. Review compass card quick. Get as much done before I have to run down, run back upstairs. So compass card. Water, I've been doing really, really well. Um, I haven't really danced that much. Um, kind of sometimes. Like yesterday, I feel like I gave myself a workout. But that's only from all the cleaning stuff I did and from picking up all the toys in my yard. Journal every day. Read in the sun. Haven't, but I have read every day. Haven't touched moon magic, which ugh, it's irritating me. Home. Um, haven't done anything except the cleaning schedule. Haven't cleaned my floors. I actually have to make my cleaning schedule. I should do that today. Um, so I'll add that to their cleaning schedule. Okay. Um, scary movie. I haven't gone, I haven't watched one yet with my son, but, um, it's either this Friday. Oh no, we were planning on watching Tomb Raider with Connor. He hasn't seen Tomb Raider with Angelina Jolie. So we're going to watch those whatever day we decide not to go out, um, this weekend. Cause one of the days we're going to go to Franco's, but on uh, percussions we've been doing every day. We didn't go swimming last weekend because I was on my own. Um, blood work we did. It was terrifying and horrifying. The first time they didn't get a vein, so they kept poking around underneath the skin to try to find the vein. Um, eight or nine times, he was like screaming. And then they tried the other arm. The lady got it on the first try, but we hadn't, he didn't have enough blood supply, so they only got one or two vials, and that was it. And then the results were inconclusive, or, or they canceled the test. So I had to go back yesterday, poor thing. He had to get another poke. This time the lady got it on the first try, thank God. And she got five vials because he has to get, like seven vials. Like it's crazy. Um, but now I have to go back next week because he doesn't have enough blood. <laughs> this poor little baby. He's like, I know he's eight months already, but this poor little baby has to get needles, like blood drawn every year because of his CF. And I'm horrified. I'm like so horrified for him. And in the end, it's not a big deal. He's alive. He's happy when he's home, right? Like, you know. Oh, it just uh, saddens my heart. Anyway, okay, so artist, draw, sketch. I haven't actually picked up a pencil yet, but I'm wanting to. Um, but I did do my art video three. Um, budget, August recap, that will be tomorrow. Because tomorrow is the first. So CEO, as of today, like so far I've done Monday to Friday work schedule, you guys. I have done so good this week so last week this week i have been on par it's made my life so much easier and it makes me happy too so a lot of times i find that i do have so much other so many other things that kind of take up each day that a lot of my work does get dragged into friday and then sometimes the weekend and it did help to work last weekend i did get caught up i mean in my job like everyone's like oh how do you find things to do like like how how do you have that much to do I could keep going and going and going and going like there would never be stopping for me. I would I could continue doing stuff all the time. Um, and it's 
Like I really do have to pace myself. So that's why I write a list. I usually tend to stick to that list. I don't do any more than the list unless it comes into like house project stuff, which I'll, I, I that's what I did yesterday. Um, so yeah. Okay. Professional development. Haven't touched anything yet. Freebies. I worked on that. Yes. Analytics, stats, financials is tomorrow. And then I haven't done anything with my professional development stuff. I really want to focus on that this week. I wonder if I can. I just, I always feel like I'm so busy with work, right? Like I'm always busy. And I just want to have a time when I'm not always busy. I need, I need help. I need someone, I need to hire someone except I'm not making enough money to pay somebody. That's sad. Okay. I'm going to make a new compass card quick. That's the next thing on the list. New rules and new big rocks. Okay, I'm going to quickly do this. Taking turns, not a lesson learned. Who'd imagined I would crash and burn? But you got me there, so I'm declaring a silence. All right, so very similar to what I had before. Um, I didn't really change much, but I do want to get more into professional development, doing more journaling and stuff. I just, it really sucks. I have to go to the doctor too. Oh, you know what? There was other stuff I had to add to my list. I just want to listen to it because I made notes for myself on my, um, my voice memo last night. I'm just going to listen to them quick. Give the dogs a bath. Set up your camera in the crib for baby. And there was something else. Okay, so it was dog bath, crib, camera. These are going to be other goals I'll be adding. What's this one? Call Dinah Lace um, and ask about Connor and Danica's requisitions. Okay, and the last one, another sticker sheet, take to the skies with the moon and bats and clouds, a witch's broomstick, a witch flying in the sky, that's it. Mm. Okay, take to the skies, sticker sheet, oh, I love that, okay, all right. That's sometimes what I do is I'll use a voice memo if I'm upstairs in my room and I don't want to write, come down and write it in my planner. I'll like make a voice memo so I remember what I need to, um, like, you know, miscellaneous notes or whatever that I think of. Because a lot of times I will think of stuff in the morning or right before bed and I'll be like, oh yeah, I gotta do that. I gotta add that to my list. Okay, so the next thing is... I'm looking at the calendar, the master tasks, and the inbox. I'm actually pretty happy with this. So, like, it'll be that. We'll quickly do that. I'll go up and get my baby, and then I can plan for the week. Because I always, like, make, I always fast forward that part. And then we'll be done. Like, I can't believe that because um, I feel like I'm going through this so quickly. Let's look at all of the stuff, and I can cross stuff off and be so happy and share it with you guys. Ugh. So happy. Okay, so first we'll look at the calendar. Okay, so we're looking from the 4th to the 10th. Um, I mean, we're still here, right? Thursday. So tomorrow is going to be busy for me. It's a catch up day, plus I have to do all of this stuff. Um, and then the floor project. I don't know what we're going to do there because we were planning on going out Friday or Saturday night. So I'm not sure what day yet. If it's Friday, it's going to be busy for me. If it's Saturday, I'll have a little bit more time. Um, and I don't know how long it's going to take to do the floor. I don't know if Chad's mom will come. We never even asked her. She's always busy anyway. Um, but she is off Sunday, Monday, so you never know. Um, we have to get groceries. I put it on Sunday, but I'm going to be getting groceries on the Monday. So I'm just going to 
just going to move that because my son starts school on Tuesday. So it makes sense to have the most fresh things on Monday. And yeah, he wants like a really nice big lunch. I bought him some bento boxes that fit in his old lunch kit from last year. So it's perfect. Um, he wants exactly the picture of the bento box, which is like, it, it, you know, it's really healthy and stuff. So I'm excited to provide that for him. So I'm going to make his lunch really, really nice that morning. I'm so excited. I'll have to get up early. I need to start training myself because today I wanted to get up when my husband got up. And guess what, guys? I still slept in. I've slept in more this week than I have like any week. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a busy week. So groceries on Labor Day. That's Labor Day. Might have to do the floor project. I don't know how long that would take us. Um, school on Tuesday. My friend's visiting. And then nothing Wednesday, Thursday, thank goodness. <laughs> Um, and then the Canadian Planner Club starts on Friday. It's Recycle. We get paid on Fridays now. And it's my best friend's husband's birthday. Um, the sale continues all week. And then that Sunday, I would be going to get groceries again. Okay, so yeah. So I mean, a pretty busy week. And then plus, I want to plan for... Um, write down school notes, I'll put write down school notes so we'll come back to this like when i'm actually planning i always come back and reference the calendar i reference the inbox all of that good stuff okay so let's go back to the inbox now um because i always check the calendar the master tasks and the inbox so for the inbox i'll show you what i did here um <laughs> apparently none of this so logan's blood work it's not quite complete i do have to go back next week um i just don't know what day i'm going back so maybe i'll write that down i'm like reading on my new inserts yay i love my new inserts so this is monday it's labor day they are open but i won't go that day so yesterday was wednesday so i guess i'll go it really depends my mom is working and she's working wednesday thursday that week so what i'll do is i'll go on tuesday see if she's available then um, and I'll take Logan in, Logan's blood work. Um, and then what I'm going to do is book the fifth with mom, um, for Logan's blood work. So I'm going to call her today just to see if, she, if that works for her and that she can come and watch my kids while I do that because it doesn't take long right they're like five minutes away um okay so I unorganized under the bathroom cupboards yesterday okay I did above the toilet organizer cleaned it up um took off all the dust cleaned out all the containers wiped off all the dust and all the products put everything back threw a bunch of stuff out like I had two garbage bags full of stuff um, but it's crossed off um, oh, and I don't have anything on the back. Okay, well, there, there you go. I crossed off a few things on there at least. Okay, so I'm going to the master task list now on the back of my September. So I trimmed my dog. Yay, he's trimmed. Yay. I cut my mom's hair. Yay. I trimmed Danica's hair. Yay. <laughs> um... I did went through Connor's clothes yesterday. Yay! I'm gonna do Danica's and Logan's today if I get time. Cleaning routine. I I cleaned the downstairs bathroom yesterday too. Um, it's very small. It doesn't take that long, so it's not like a huge project or anything. But just that I'm following my cleaning schedule that I have yet to make. I wrote that on my thing already. Um, it makes me feel so good. Okay. Um, and I did those two things. And something else that wasn't on here, I cut Connor's hair too. <laughs> so proud of myself. Oh, and I cleaned his desk. Because for some reason, he had like all this stuff. I had cleaned his desk at one point, And then he put all of this stuff all over it again. And it made me so mad. So I cleaned it, so now he's ready for school. Because the, the whole point is, like he has a Chromebook, the whole point is that he can go up there and do his homework, right? 
Um, so on the weekly list, let's see what I can cross out, take out recycle, uh, not from the basement, we haven't done that yet. Bathroom cupboards, toilet organizer, cleanup room. Does that mean my room? I think so. Connor's clothes I did. Um, I didn't do the floors yet, but I did do the downstairs bath, trim jack, Connor's desk, and cut Connor's hair. Look how many things I did. And so if I can do the pantry organization over the weekend and then all of um, like the ba the basement stuff, except for the Facebook buy and sell, I, I probably won't get to that this weekend, but everything else, like I'll be, you know, it'll be perfect. I don't know if I'll be able to clean the floors today, maybe tomorrow. Um, and then Danny's and Logan's clothes, I'm going to try to go through today. So that'll be done. But yeah, I, did, I felt so good yesterday. Like I did so much work. It was just crazy. It was crazy, crazy, crazy. And everything hurts. I did pick up all the toys in the yard too, because my husband is planning on potentially mowing the grass today, except, um, it says chance of showers, risk of thunderstorms. So now it's a 60% chance of shower, so he might not be able to mow the grass today. Uh, but it's going to be a humidex of 28 with only a high of 25 today. But yesterday was, um, what was like 28 yesterday? Hmm. The day before it was 32, so it was, it was really warm. We've been under a heat warning for the last couple of days. Okay, well guys, I guess that's it. And this is the rest of my week though. I have a whole bunch of stuff to do tomorrow. Swimming, date night, bedroom floor, the weekend. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. And at one o'clock after lunch today, I have to take Connor over to um, his his friend from school. And they're going to have a play date before school starts. So I have to do that today. But yeah, I'm going to go get my baby. I'll plan for the week. And then, um, then we'll be done because I won't be doing my work stuff. So, yeah. All right. Let's get to it. I just had a quick thought. Unless, you guys, if I don't do my work stuff, I'm just going to do it on the video. I'm still going to do it on the video. But I'm going to go into my work planner so it won't be, like, all Franklin. Um, and I'm just going to, like, fast forward it. And I can talk about it after. But it'll be, like, the one way that I actually remember to do it. Because if I don't film it, I might forget to do it. And I don't want to do that. So if you... But I do seriously want your feedback so I'll go ahead and do it still in this video in my other binder or my binder my my other planner but I do want your guys' feedback and I do want you to let me know what you'd like to see okay with that being said I'm gonna get started on the week
All right, guys, so I'm all done planning. So sorry, like I had so many phone calls and things in between. I had to do a lot of editing um, to kind of cancel that part out. So I hope it kind of looks good and, you know, comes together nice. But anyway, so this is my work plans. I feel like this, I was very distracted when I did this one particularly. So I feel like I might have to add more stuff after the fact. But uh, all I could think of, I did put, I want to put this little note here, even though I do have my progressive task card because, um, other videos that I will be potentially be filming, like that we'll be putting on these two days here or maybe Sunday, I've got Etsy Hall and Sterling Inc. Um, so yeah, so I've got my, my Jane's Agenda September box should be here on Tuesday, I, I took a look. And I'm hoping that my Etsy, I'm waiting, I've got my, um, one of the things isn't from Etsy, it's actually from the Honey Bee Shop. I've got that stuff sitting here and I've been waiting to show it forever, I feel like. But I want to wait for my um, Halloween stuff to come in from Heather B. Co. So anyway, so I have I have these videos that potentially will put on here. But of course, I've got my stickers in the back. I just pop a sticker on and write down when I'm going to planning on um, posting that video. Okay, so that's for work. I love this planner. Have I mentioned that yet? And then for my regular schedule for home stuff, this is what my calendar looks like. I'm pretty happy with this. I've used some of the I, the minis from the Planners Anonymous sticker book, but I also used the Munchkins with Once More Love. Love the Munchkins. They are adorable. I um, used a whole bunch. And I like how it looks decorated. I love this. So I put this sticker here within the hole punched rings. I just have to repunch it. Um, use lots of washi tape. This is from Planners Anonymous. This one is from Simply Gilded. Um, and then I just decorated with a whole bunch of sunflowers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me. If you did, please give me a thumbs up in the, for the video. Leave comments and questions. I love talking with you guys. Um, if you are new, please consider subscribing. Click on the bell notification button if you want to see further content from moi. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, friends.